let me present you the next speaker, who is Bistrik Micek from Berk Motion Company. Thank you, Thomas, and welcome everybody in our SOS Electronic headquarters in Slovakia. Oh, wow, very interesting and useful presentation today. I hope that all of you are enjoying Debatech event as me. As you know, and we know it, the product development is not only about electronic components and technical stuff, but also about product design. Everything what is made in your manufacturing is made probably for a customer, for the home, for the job, for the business. That's why it's very necessary to have not only perfect technical performance, but also good looking and design thinking product. Let me introduce you our next guest or speaker if you want, Mr. Bistrik Micek from amazing Slovak design studio Verge Motion with a very interesting topic. The development of industrial design and its impact on the product and the brand. Mr. Micek is a CEO and remains also a design manager in the company. The company has international clientele and the greatest project, which are the most proud of, are for example, Nexineo virtual computer equipment, the Behart new fleet on the ship in the Hungary, Albertina river cruiser, which is located on Danube and transport from the Germany to Ukraine. Before we start, let me ask you the general question. How important is a design in the whole process of product development or production. Industrial design, uh, product design is very important uh, for the manufacturing of the products, uh, but in general, the main value is to create the brand itself. Thank you for your answer and enjoy the presentation. Hello everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure to present you our design studio and our work, what we did in last several of years. The presentation will consist from three parts. First part will be brief uh, introduction of the company. Second part will be overview of our references from different industries. And third part will be a very simplified uh, use case uh, scenario of our one selected project to give you a little bit more imagination about the product design development itself. Verkimotion uh, is research and development industrial design studio located in Bratislava, Slovakia, Prague, Czech Republic and Taipei City in Taiwan. We are a young team of very experienced uh, designers uh, from uh, different uh, fields. We are focusing on three groups of industries mostly. Uh, it is like uh, automotive uh, industry, like automotive and utility vehicles design, uh, after a naval design consumer and consumer and electronics and medical design. Uh, we are also uh, have protected uh, many uh, designs by IP rights protection, uh, over 12 uh, design registrations and patents all over the world. Uh, we were also awarded by top design awards like Red Dot Design Award, EF Design Award, the German Innovation Award. And uh, as you can see also on the picture, uh, we have very strong uh, business partners and our designers uh, has also really strong previous uh, design experiences uh, from automotive industry. Let me show you uh, uh, our main overview of our references. Uh, they will consist from uh, three main industries. Uh, we will start with automotive and agrotechnic uh, industry after a uh, naval and uh, shipbuilding industry and we will finish with uh, consumer electronics and uh, medical uh, devices, uh, what we were working on. Our first uh, dominant reference from automotive industry is a brand uh, Torsus, where we were designing several types of vehicles, uh, mostly focused on the off-road uh, buses. Uh, in front of you, you can see uh, Torsus Praetorian, which is 14 tons big off-road bus, uh, focused uh, to use only on uh, locations where there is no infrastructures. We designed all visual uh, parts of the bus and also supplied all manufacturing data for the visual parts like a fiberglass, glass, bending, bended glass, etc. We also implemented uh, many OEM components uh, uh, into the product. 
and uh, we also closely worked uh, with the client's engineering team, which was really nice, a synchronized cooperation. In front of you at the moment you can see the several configurations what we did also from this bus. The bus is at the moment uh, set to be able uh, to use for many different applications as a tourist bus or firefighter version or only regular coach. Second vehicle from the Torsus uh, portfolio is Torsus Terrastorm, which is the smaller version of the off-road bus. It is the conversion of uh, Volkswagen Crafter. And the product uh, is a good uh, example how design language uh, can be uh, replaced from one vehicle to another one uh, by implementing the main key features on the front bumper and redesigning several parts of the product. Also with uh, adding uh, livery design on top of that. We are also present in motorsport industry. Uh, one of the projects that are very strong from uh, this segment uh, is Dakar Truck Fesh Fesh uh, from the Czech Republic. We were designing the whole exterior design and manufacturing data uh, for this vehicle in close cooperation uh, with the client's engineering team. We were also designing uh, livery designs and many uh, technical details about implementation of OEM components. Another strong reference is also one of the biggest uh, producers of the tractors from Slovenia, Agromechanika, where, where we were also designing uh, the a whole range of the tractors with and without a cabin. We were supplying the full development of the design styling, design language for the new brand, and also providing manufacturing data. All visible surfaces uh, were developed in a close collaboration uh, with the clients, engineers and uh, suppliers. The next industry is naval and shipbuilding. In this uh, industry we have several references uh, with the builded results. Uh, the ship in front of you is called uh, Albertina River Cruiser. It's 110 meter hotel ship. Uh, it was uh, developed uh, in a shipyard in Komarno in Slovakia. Uh, in this type of projects we're cooperating uh, with a specialist from naval architecture, naval engineering, one of the biggest uh, office in Europe, uh, which is present in Netherlands, Belgium and also in Slovakia. In case of these references, we also developed and uh, designed uh, another uh, ship, which is uh, Danube uh, Ferry, for the transporting of the passenger cars or even the regular uh, pedestrians from one side of the river to another one. The project was uh, built uh, also in Slovakia. At the moment we are also developing uh, in cooperation uh, with the naval engineers um, uh, the new fleet of uh, Bahard ships uh, for the Hungarian Lake uh, Balaton. Uh, the new fleet will consist from the four ships, uh, ferries and catamarans, what you see in front of you. Uh, we were completely supplying full package of design services for exterior design, interior design, livery design, selection of OEM components and many other parts. Uh, we were also in close cooperation with the uh, uh, production suppliers for the fiberglass, plastics and also for any other glass and metal parts of the boat. The second uh, ship in the fleet uh, is Bahard uh, Ferry, which also uh, using the same design language what was developed for this whole new brand. Uh, as you can see, uh, the livery design is one of the key elements, uh, also with the main contour design and shot lines, which defining the really strong uh, identity for the product and the whole brand. Uh, we were also developing uh, uh, floating piers. Uh, for example, this one was built uh, in a shipyard of Bratislava and it's used on the Danube River. The project uh, came uh, in very raw state to us, as you can see on the right picture. Uh, it was only a few containers on the top of the box and um, we completely moved the development of the floating pier to another level and defining the new element uh, uh, of the design shaping using different combination of materials and also with a very keen focus on uh, cost effective uh, development and production. In case of uh, consumer electronics and medical design, uh, one of our strong uh, business partners are one of the biggest uh, producers and developers of uh, dentist chairs and dentist units uh, uh, in general, uh, company Diplomat Dental Solutions. We started cooperation in 2018. Uh, from that time until today we developed the whole pro product portfolio together 
with uh, their engineering team and our design team together. The whole portfolio consists from many technical details, uh, which were completely going from the small parts to the whole units. Uh, we were designing and developing all visible surfaces. Uh, we were also uh, communicating and being in contact during development with uh, many production suppliers for plastics, upholstery, ceramics, uh, metal shaping, bending and metal casting. This type of the products uh, also involving many OEM components and electronics, many kinematics and many other uh, limitations which are you know, very restricting in the case to find really nice and beautiful design language and uh, identity. Uh, but as you can see, we were a very successful uh, project, won all top design awards in the world and it's helping to help to grow the sales of the company. The product by itself, uh, it's uh, very minimalistic and that therefore uh, we pre predict that will have a long uh, lifetime. Uh, another references from uh, consumer electronics and product designs are PC terminals uh, where we use combination of metal sheet bending and fiberglass, small computers uh, and even innovative uh, office chairs. Another very interesting uh, project from the electronic department uh, was uh, also a multiplayer gaming drones. Uh, the really interesting and really big challenge here was also the size of the product, uh, which is about uh, 10 centimeters. And uh, the all details and assembly was uh, very complex, also with the hardware and other OEM components involved. In this project, we were also developing the whole uh, packaging of the product. Uh, uh, boxing by itself and all uh, graphics what is used on. One of the latest and really strong and nice uh, project uh, from the consumer electronics are performing lasers for company brand Quant. Uh, what you see in front of you is uh, the comparison also from the previous and current version. The old Quant design on the right side, the boxy design, it's a very common solution from the whole uh, laser market. And uh, we were able to completely redesign and create completely new recognizable design uh, language and styling uh, of the product, what you see on the left as end result. But one of the very interesting input uh, to that was also cooperation with Slovak Academy of Science and using their uh, developed uh, foamed aluminum, which is uh, expanded uh, aluminum uh, metal, what you can see on the right down corner. Uh, the material is uh, very functional in the way of uh, weight reduction and uh, definitely uh, allow us to make uh, much more complex uh, design shaping what resulted in very fascinating uh, new benchmark on the market with the lasers. In that project we were also cooperating with the client's uh, engineering team uh, but all visible parts, all assembly design uh, and other uh, com components which are mounted on everything were coming mostly from our side. Uh, what was happening inside of the body with the hardware and the technological part of the product uh, was on the side of the uh, client. Let me show you the third part of the presentation which is a use case of design product development. Uh, we selected a very uh, complex project, product, but uh, in its simplicity is one of the best for this explanation. We selected uh, for this purpose the project Nexino Cloud Client. Uh, Nexino is a replacement of the regular PC uh, computer under the table. Uh, it's the network of virtualized computers connected to database, which making the make, uh, main calculations. Uh, Nexino by itself is the very revolutionary product because it's reducing the waste, electronic waste, the energy consumption and also the costs, uh, investment costs to buy the whole set. For this project uh, we were uh, developing a uh, completely full delivery package which was design styling and industrial design with the engineering. We delivered also livery design, branding, marketing content and a uh, very strong IP rights protection with a really nice network of production suppliers for each part. Next, you know, as you can see on the picture, can be uh, mounted on the screen or on the table. For that purpose, there is uh, several design improvements. To simplify uh, design development process, we created a very simple uh, visualized overview how the process of design uh, looks like. 
It consists from the two phases. First phase is a concept design, second phase is a prototyping and production design. In the first phase, we are focusing mostly on research and analysis of the client's inputs and uh, requests and needs of the users. Uh, we also have some inputs in case of the, uh, for example, single board computer in this case. Later on, we create the whole design strategy based on what we create the sketch development step. Uh, the sketch development is very important uh, step in the whole process because we create many different uh, identities and approaches on the new design language strategy. From that point of view, we closing the concept design by modeling uh, selected versions of new design approach and uh, client have the right uh, to choose which direction like to go. We also giving uh, many recommendations uh, due to our previous experiences and uh, the important fact that the product should have a long lifetime on the market, so it's important that it will stay fresh for a longer time. When the design is uh, selected uh, and we already have clear of what is the advantages of the new identity, we, we starting to focus on uh, manufacturing uh, data, the assembly, the involving all important uh, uh, OEM components uh, the, and other parameters related to it. What is very important in that process is uh, to select uh, the materials, the production technologies and suppliers to know their limitations from the production uh, state point of view and uh, to define uh, the restrictions of the cost efficiency of the development. Next in our product by itself uh, consists from uh, several uh, parts. Uh, we calling two main parts, which is like body and the mounting element, which is on the screen. As you can see, the body consists from two parts. One is plastic part, which holding the single board computer, and another part is uh, aluminum front cover, which also has function of uh, passive cooling. And we have several other components uh, as uh, front decor, which hiding the screws. The same purpose also has the rear rubber segment which also has anti-slippery function for the position on the table. And we were developing also uh, extension and base for the a button on the top of the device. Plastics uh, used on that project uh, are injection mold plastics uh, and uh, front cover is uh, aluminum casting to use its ability uh, to, uh, to distribute good the temperature on the surface of the product. We were also going to the last details and developing the whole uh, liver design, surface finishing, labeling and application of the labeling and branding on the product. Uh, that by itself was a very complex task. To go uh, piece by piece, uh, to show you like the complexity of the development, uh, in, the, in the picture in front of you, you can see the very pre-selected uh, selection of the development stages, alternatives and prototypes, what we were doing during the process, and the final result on the top. In case of the front cover, uh, as you can see on the picture, we were going from the many different shape alternatives of the selected design from the negative shape to positive shapes. And later on, we were also focusing on surface finishes, uh, on surface finishing, which uh, is much more satin and more premium look uh, without any extra cost. We were also like uh, tested many different uh, branding way of application on the front uh, cover, which uh, uh, definitely was uh, the challenge because as you can see on the picture on the top not everything was uh, holding tight but at the end we found the technology which uh, allow us uh, to place on the surface of the front cover branding by the way how we imagined. On the pictures on the bottom uh, you very clearly see we uh, were designing the cooling chimney which is touching the PCU of the uh, of the single board computer and transferring the heat uh, on the outer surface. That was very well tested even before uh, investment into the molds, which are uh, pretty uh, expensive. So we're trying to avoid any uh, mistakes during that process. Therefore, uh, we uh, ordered 3D printing of aluminum part, uh, which was tested for heat distribution even before the molds uh, were start to be designed. On the left side of the picture, you can see uh, three different angles of the 3D printed aluminum front cover, what was used for the testing of heat distribution and assembling with the plastic part from the behind. On the right side of the screen, you can see the fi already final casted aluminum parts 
uh, which were already mass manufactured. As you can see on the two samples on the left side, uh, one is with and one without the surface finishing, which later on helps us uh, to get this premium look of the more satin uh, surface finishing. All these parts, uh, not only this front cover, is uh, designed uh, for as simple and cost-effective uh, uh, production of the molds, uh, which later on are saving a lot of uh, investment costs in the, the tooling. Here is another comparison uh, where uh, it's very important to design also liver design during the process, uh, also with the cooperation with the production suppliers. Uh, because it has really high importance on the final look uh, and feel of the product. On the right side you see the same piece with only defined better surface finishing, which is simulated also on the plastic parts and synchronized uh, together. Very uh, important part is also the assembly design of the parts. Specifically in this project it was very challenging because we needed to connect uh, aluminum casted part with the injection molded plastic part. Uh, which has a different uh, contraction of the size and uh, also very uh, different uh, surface finish uh, strategies. On the left side you can see also the brief development of the inner side of the body where is placed a single board computer and also same time you can see development of the rail for mounting on the back of the screen. Next part and very important part was also the mounting uh, element uh, which is on the screen which involves a sliding uh, rail uh, because the important input from the customer was that the device shouldn't be screwed on the monitor, it should be able easy to be placed down. Uh, as you can see on the uh, pictures there we had several design versions of that mounting element. Uh, our goal was to achieve a most simple version not only from the cost effective uh, way of, of production, producement, but also to not spend many material uh, per piece. And also uh, it's uh, achieved the same principle to limit the production mold uh, to be as simple as possible or from less pieces as possible. Very important part of the whole development is also many revisions and uh, iterations uh, during the process. Uh, uh, of course, because our previous many experiences from different fields, we are very able to uh, decrease the number of the iterations uh, during the process. We are also very focused on the details uh, on the projects. Uh, one of the really uh, small details of this Nexino product uh, was also the whole uh, button unit, uh, which consists from the base and the top extension of the button. We developed different uh, concepts uh, how it could work, uh, but also the main target was the simplicity of the solution, which uh, can be really durable uh, for the long period of time and also the production costs and complexity for the molding. We added also uh, several additional services which are uh, very uh, complex and typical and we are very happy if we are able to do that. Mostly uh, it is like IP rights protection of the final design, branding from the product which is the real part of the product itself. And in this uh, project we were also able to uh, create several animations and drafts for a website and other marketing content. For final imagination, uh, how big impact we can create uh, with a product design or industrial design uh, is this slide where we comparing the competitors on the market uh, with the client's previous product uh, and final solution. As you can see, uh, the all products or the most of the products are uh, circle or boxy style. As you can see, mostly all products are uh, boxy style or quadratic, uh, which coming out mostly from the shape of the single board computer, which is also quadratic. We choose completely different strategy for that uh, from the point of view that we wanted to create recognizability of the product on the market and create design language, which will be really, really uh, iconic. And we placed the same single board computer into the circle shape, which was one of the results from our design strategy and we created a completely unique approach on design. As you can see, uh, the client's previous uh, product uh, was very similar to the market, but the new design significantly helped him to distinguish the new product uh, from the crowd. In total summary, uh, it's very important to set the few goals of what has to be uh, for the development of the new products. This is our values and goals what we're trying to achieve with the every development. 
Uh, that goals are to create unique design language, as you saw on the previous page, to create a recognizable product, which will be really stand out from the crowd and other competitors and will have really long lifetime. The second very important point is the re reduction of the investments risks. This can be done by many different uh, ways. It can be uh, reduced by uh, development time or production costs or energy waste or waste in general created during the production. It can be also uh, decreased by a number of revisions based on our previous experiences and many different know-how what we have. What is really important is that we try and every time achieve uh, support to growth of sales, even in pre-orders, even in after-sale, uh, with the influence of the new uh, design language. For us, it's also very important to keep sustainability design strategy. It means that the product will have a long lifetime, it will use the correct materials and create as less waste as possible. Our very strong um, value is also the transferring experiences and know-how uh, from different uh, industries, which are for one industry really common, but for another not. What is very important is many times not the need of the customer or client by itself, but his customer's needs. And uh, that's what we're trying every time to analyze, validate, and get out the most important uh, targets, uh, what we're trying to achieve also during development. In general, reduction of the R&D investments costs, it's something what can be watched from two perspectives. One perspective is to uh, reduce the uh, time, development time, by not making many iterations with the professional approach and previous experiences. And another, another approach uh, on this topic can be also from the point of view that uh, by making really smart solutions can be saved many money later on on bigger investments into the tooling. We also have a very wide uh, network of uh, suppliers at the moment from very different industries and for a very different volume of productions. Uh, so this is also very uh, helping to speed up the development and later on even manufacturing process. We are able to uh, cooperate on many different levels, could be consultations, could be rebuilding of existing product, partial rebuilding on completely new design language. Uh, there is many ways how now your brand, your product or anything what is creating design value in your company can be uh, approached and get better. Thank you very much. I also want to thank uh, to Debatec conference and the opportunity to be part of this and reach you all. I believe that the design and industrial design of your products uh, is very significant part of the brand value.